All right, Brock fight. Here we go. Place your bets. How many Pokemon are we losing? Three. Krill. We've never lost a Pokemon to Brock. He's never even been a challenge. I wasn't even gonna bet on him. <sighs> Alright, so this is double super effective and should one shot him. Oh, he's got sturdy. I always forget about sturdy. He still can't do anything to me. That'll lower my speed, which is annoying, though. And we headbutt because Bone Club can miss. Yeah. That's actually pretty annoying. He does 12 damage and lowers my speed twice. Sturdy OP. Okay, let me get a Volpix out here. Oh, that might be super effective. Wouldn't you want to take, like, if I average losing two Pokemon or something? Like, I don't... I don't necessarily average losing three because it's... it's the middle of zero to six. Right, like, you'd look at how many times I lose each number. I don't think Onyx can one-shot me, so we'll get a Bone Club out here, but I think we'll probably end up switching. It's, this will be a pretty grindy battle, and I'm already hurt half my health. Probably get him with one more attack here. Did a little more than I expected it to, but I don't know if we want to risk... Um, a crit on his next hit will kill me. A non-crit won't, but... Brit will, and I don't think we want to risk that. So he's going to use a ground type move, which is super effective against you. It doesn't affect you, but he'll use Rock Tomb the next turn. We don't like that. It's super effective against you and you, so it's either him or him. Um, honestly, they might not be able to survive that that well. Interesting. Somebody has Quick Attack. You have quick attack, but can you survive a bulldoze? Well, let's see who... I mean, quick attack's not going to kill him anymore, but... we got to look at who's faster and who's tankier. You're faster. Okay, you're significantly tankier, so you're a better shot than him. I think this team's feeling pretty weak, but it might have the ability to scale. So we got to survive two bulldozers. Okay, we can, unless it crits. So we're in the same situation where we die to a crit. And yeah, so that actually didn't help. I think both of these battles, we tried to play around crits, and we shouldn't have. We're putting ourselves to more risk by playing around crits. Because now he has two chances to crit us instead of one if this magnitude doesn't kill. And it was a six, which is a really low roll, so it probably won't kill. Yep, so now he had that chance to crit, and he has this chance to crit, instead of just one chance on Marowak. Which seems worse. That crit there would have killed us exactly. This aid will get him though. Alright, so there was more risk to that battle than I expected, but I mean, he had to crit. So it's still pretty safe, just not as safe as we'd like.